Yeah, so for the US dollar, we saw some uh, retracement for the aggressive uh, rate expectation, especially uh, overnight. Uh, we got the FOMC minutes uh, showing that uh, the Fed may not really uh, have uh, uh, a, a big discussion or debate on the rate cut timing. So I think this uh, suggests that uh, the uh, aggressive rate cut expectation, which is uh, pricing in around six times of rate cut uh, throughout the year, was a bit overdone. So uh, we saw that a US dollar rebound. And also uh, we saw the uh, investors that uh, may be returning uh, from the holiday and the improving liquidity suggests that uh, the, uh, there would be a uh, rather realistic or uh, correct uh, pricing for the yeah, uh, interest rate expectation overall. So I think uh, in the year of the beginning, we saw some uh, rebounds and upside momentum in the US dollar. But overall, we saw the dollar index is uh, remain kept by its uh, downtrend. So uh, 102.5 level, we are... Uh, Waiting for yeah, the long fund period figure it, uh, and see uh, how the uh, Fed will uh, deal with uh, this data and adjust uh, their rate cut expectation for the year. So let's just take dollar yen for a second because it's of course not just what's going on with the Fed but also expectations for the BOJ as well, possibly moving away from its negative interest rate policy. How does that, uh, how does that play out then for the dollar yen cross? Uh, I think this year uh, the reversal of uh, monetary divergence between the Fed and BOJ uh, will be the uh, key trading frame this year because uh, uh, this year we are seeing that uh, the Fed is uh, uh, entering uh, is a race car cycle but on the other hand the BOJ is uh, ready uh, to move its uh, interest rate higher to end its uh, negative interest rate policy. So uh, we saw the uh, Japan inflation uh, momentum actually it has been uh, staying above a uh, two percent target for more than uh, one and a half or two years and now the BOJ just waiting for the uh, rate negotiation results uh, to uh, make the call uh, for its uh, rate cut policy, uh, rate, uh, rate policy. So far I think the uh, BOJ is uh, very patient uh, uh, in uh, tightening its policy because uh, they want to uh, make sure that uh, the inflation mindset is uh, going to evaporate after the rate gains. But uh, to our side, we think that uh, the, uh, the inflation outlook in Japan is uh, remain quite modest and the BOJ uh, will likely just uh, done the, uh, we will likely do the uh, single rate uh, hike. Uh, to end is a negative interest rate policy and uh, so it means that uh, even though the Fed is uh, going to cut its interest rate, the carry trade opportunity will uh, also present uh, this year to keep the uh, uh, yen appreciation. So we expect uh, dollar yen will move uh, down to below 140 level uh, most of the time this uh, year uh, and will likely just end at uh, around 140, uh, 134 level at year end. So uh, we saw just a modest uh, yen appreciation even though uh, there is a reversal of a monetary divergence because uh, we consider uh, the uh, interest rate gap between Japan and uh, the US uh, will remain in play this year.